All right, in this lesson, let's talk about setting statistics I.O. on, what it does, and why we use it. This adds another dimension to our understanding of the effectiveness of our queries. So let's go ahead and set this to on. And let's delete our index, all right? So now we've got our table scans. So let's do our table scan, and let's just run that. So if we come to our messages tab over here, after the query is finished executing, we see some additional data. This logical reads is what we want to pay attention to. So what is a logical read? Remember that we have our data in the buffer pool, right? And it moves between the buffer pool and the disk. So a logical read is when one of these queries reads the data from the buffer pool. This is what we're going to pay attention to. Now look how high this number is. All right, so let's pay attention to how high our logical reads are without our non-clustered index. Let's add our non-clustered index. So now that we've added our index, let's come back and run our query again. All right, so let's just screen print this off. So now that we can see what they were before, right there we go, and now let's see what they are after So we've reduced them quite significantly, haven't we? We've got our logical reads at 118 as opposed to 27216. Alright, so these are massive differences tell us, in addition to our show plan, the index we created has a massive effect on the amount of times that query had to go to cache in order to read that data. Right, so these numbers, the wider these numbers are apart, oftentimes that means the more beneficial your index. All right, so we want to use this in conjunction with our show plan analysis.